Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, we'll share a devotion entitled, What Do You Think? What Do You Think? James 1, 22 says, But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says, otherwise you are only fooling yourselves. You must do what it says, if not, you're only fooling yourselves. You know, it's important for me to take care of my body. The words are easy to say that I will take care of my body. But if our day-to-day life and actions do not align with our words, then the words that we speak, the words that we say, become empty, useless, no effect at all. Observation is the key to discover what people value. When you learn to observe people and hear people, you will know what is important and why people behave the way they behave and then you then you will know what are their values in life each area of our lives reveals deep truths about us the way we treat every area of life food work faith friends family church reveals what we believe and value. Repetitive thoughts become our deep-seated beliefs and these are lived out in our action. What does it mean? What it means is this, whatever you think when it's repeated again and again and again will make you and I to be whom we are and we am in life. And when that happens, Every action, every words that come out of our mouth reveals that about us, show that about us. It's easy to say the right things. I believe, for example, I believe in being connected to God. But if we never have time for His Word, for people, for the church, for God's Word, what we say, our words are meaningless. Although it is easy to deceive ourselves, God has given each of us a mirror in our actions. As we look at our own actions and where our time is going, we discover our beliefs and our values. Although it is never a good idea to nitpick at others, reflecting on our own lives, is a powerful tool to discover growth areas and then invite God into them in our lives. What do I mean is this. Sometimes in life, we always pick on people. He said this and he did that. She said this and she did that. You know, and, and, and we, we, we pick on people what they say, what they didn't do, what they do and what they doesn't do. And so, so we forgot. When we look at ourselves, we will realize what we say in our life, how we talk about people, how we point a finger at people, and how, whom do we spend time with, and what do we value most in life, basically reflect who you and I are. And it is reflected on and through our actions, our behavior, our lifestyles, and who we are. You know, Elizabeth Elliot says, if you believe in a God who controls the big things, you have to believe in a God who controls the little things. It is we, of course, to whom things look little or big. Amen? So be awakened. What do you think about yourself? Rather than what do you think about other people? If you and I do a check on ourselves, you will realize we are quite similar to them those whom we disagree, those whom we think that they are wrong, or from the way we talk, from the way we behave, from the way we act, from the way we relate, you realize we mirror ourselves and we should see that of our own. I trust God that you and I will strive to be whom God wants you and I to be in life. And then you will shine 
for God, and you will be a better, a bigger, and a greater person in Christ Jesus. Amen? Father, bless your people with a great day in Jesus' name. God bless you, and you all have a great, great day. God bless.